हेलो माई सेल्फ इज सुनील शर्मा वर्किंग विद एस सी एस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड रुड़की टुडे आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट द मिलीगन वायर ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट मॉडल एम ओ डी जीरो वन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज यूज फॉर मेजरमेंट द चार्ज ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन वेन यू अनपैक द कार्टन बॉक्स यू विल गेट द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट मिलीगन ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट मेन यूनिट मॉडल एम ओ डी जीरो वन A oil drop chamber having a parallel plate separated by 5 mm distance uh, with a pin hole at the center. An atomizer with oil container, focusing pin, CCD camera, a time counter of range 0 to 999. 0.9 second this is operated with pause and start button a variable voltage range 140 to 800 volt controlled by a pot and balance measurement button oil bottle video output cable oil fog inlet with cover plate a lcd monitor with remote graduated with horizontal lines which helps in measuring the distance and time of droplet movement at the time of experiment we measured the distance between second and fourth line connect video output of the main unit with lcd monitor using the given cable place the focusing pin in the center hole of the upper plate and get its image on monitor adjust its focus with the help of focusing knob of camera remove the focusing pin and put it in their pocket next detach this oil ionizer from its clamp open the oil container and fill the oil in ionizer around half way place the oil ionizer back in its clamp such that the nozzle is aligned with the chamber there are two methods of performing the experiment dynamic and balancing method first dynamic method press the bulb two to four times you will see the fog and wait for some time uh, let uh, the heavy fog of oil drop settle down now select a suitable drop like this and apply the voltage run out 400 to 500 and the movement will upward when uh, the voltage is applied and when it is off it is comes down now note down the rise time and fall time of the droplet between second and fourth uh, line now apply the balance voltage 
and it is comes near to the second line you start to uh, a timer and when it is just reach to the fourth line it will pause so that is the rise time now it is pause so so 150 is the second is the rise time and it is reset the time is gone again you start the time so so it is a fall time it is comes reach to the second line so now it is in 77 second is a fall time so so this is the way you can measure the uh, fall time and rise time of a droplet reset timer button should be pressed before any new reading repeat 5 sets of readings for each droplet and total 5 6 drops should be selected for better average tabulate these readings second is the balancing method same press the bulb very gently and see the fall on the monitor wait for some time let the heavy drop settle down select a droplet on the monitor and bring it close to the second line from the top and apply the variable voltage between 300 to 500 volt which can balance the mass of uh, that drop that is drop seems to be a stationary for a few minutes the voltage may have to be adjusted again and again for every free fall time reading it is just started the time when it just crossed the fourth line of the monitor and it is stop when cross the second line of like this so now it is a 13.5 seconds take the average value of these voltages and free fall timings and tabulate these readings as shown in observation table as per the slide we will calculate charge of an electron calculate the charge of an electron with different droplets take the average values these gives the final result the millikan soil drop experiment received the nobel prize in 1923 This experiment proved the atomicity of electricity and led to the accurate determination of the mass of electrons and Avogadro's number. Experimentally calculate the values of charge of an electron with both the methods the error is in acceptable range. Thank you for seeing this video for details of our other products please visit our website www. dot sas instruments dot com thank you have a nice day